Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. I am a sophomore management major at Clemson University and today I'm going to be breaking down the different freshman dorms. So if you are applying to Clemson, plan to live here, continue watching. I'm first going to be showing you guys West Campus and discussing the dorms on that side of campus as well as then discussing East Campus and the dorms over on that side of campus. Your freshman year at Clemson, you have to live in one of the freshman dorms on campus. Hands down, there are a few exceptions to that and you can find further information on the Clemson Home website. Also keep in mind that Clemson offers a lot of living and learning communities so if you're a part of one of those you want to make sure that you check the website and kind of find out where you're supposed to be designated for your residence hall. I'll show you guys right now the map of Clemson and so we are literally dividing the campus based off of where Cooper Library is. So on West Campus you have the Shoebox Residential Community, Holmes McCabe, core campus which includes the honors housing as well as Gisette. Those are basically all of your freshman dorms on West Campus. So West Campus you have Serene, Riggs, just a few academic buildings is really where the engineering buildings are located as well as you have Memorial Stadium where Death Valley is located and even more west you have more of the athletics hub as I will call it kind of that direction moving more towards the lake Lake Hartwell and Seneca that is West Campus. On West Campus campus you have the one major buffet style dining hall which is Fresh Food Company. It is also referred to as Core so if you're on campus and you hear people talking about let's go eat at Core that is what they're referring to. Let's go ahead and talk about the Gisette residential housing community because at the bottom floor of that particular community is where the dining hall is. So if you live in that community you're in a very great location. They have as I just shared the dining hall just right downstairs and that's very convenient. I've asked people who lived there this past year and they really loved it. Location, the convenience. You have the residential kind of traditional, you share a room with another person style dorm except their bathrooms are in the what Clemson likes to call wet core style. So basically you have a common sink area but then there's a separate little room for your shower and toilet. So you have a semi-private bathroom experience. With core the laundry rooms are typically on each floor so you don't really have to lug them. So it has elevators which is really nice. Also a a relatively newer residence hall for freshmen. Up next we have Holmes and McCabe. So this past year only Holmes was offered for freshmen but I've heard this upcoming year they're also offering McCabe possibly. So doesn't really matter. They're kind of one in the same set up the same way. At the bottom basement of Holmes is where you would have your laundry. Then you also have in Holmes and McCabe very cool sweet style bathrooms. So you have you and your roommate who share a room. Then in between the room next to you in your room you have a bathroom that you will share with the people who are next door to you. There's kind of a quad flow if you're used to how other universities are set up. You are responsible for cleaning and maintaining your own bathroom but it's only shared with the four people versus everybody on your hall so that's something that you really want to look forward to in your freshman year. I would suggest making sure that you try to register for either Holmes or McCabe. So next moving along I also wanted to go ahead and shout out the shoe boxes which is where I lived. If you want to see a empty room tour, a dorm tour, a move-in day vlog, all of those things I'll leave them down below if you want to see what a typical shoebox dorm room looks like. This is definitely a channel for you because I lived there this past year. Just last Sunday I showed you guys an empty dorm tour. The cool thing about the shoeboxes is that you have your own walk-in closet and a sink within your dorm. You and your roommate within one dorm with a communal bathroom. The cool thing about the shoeboxes is a very intimate small residential community so you kind of get to know the people on your hall within your building very easily very quickly which is something I enjoyed during my time living there. And also on these shoeboxes kind a perimeter you have a basketball court and a volleyball area where you can play if you're a very like outdoorsy kind of person like to play sports might be the community for you I know a lot of guys used to go out there and like play basketball or even girls playing volleyball that's kind of the perks of West Campus if you're more into going to fight or attending athletic games this is probably the side of campus that you want to aim to live on just because it is closer to more the athletic side of the university versus more of the academic side it definitely isn't a far walk it took me maybe 10 minutes at most to walk to most my classes which were around Cooper which is the central hub of campus. Keep that in mind when you're making that decision of where to live. We're going to be talking about East Campus which has Shaletter 
here as the main dining hall which is located right by the high rises and the low rises which is very convenient as well as right next to the Hendrix Student Center. So within the Student Center there's a study lounge, there's other retail eateries. So you have the high rises which there are three, Burns, Lever, and Manning. Manning is a all girls dorm and then Burns and Lever this past year was for only RISE students which is residents in science and engineering. So the high rises are kind of situated in a very unique structure. They're very tall buildings. You can see very far beyond campus which is really cool. There are 10 floors in total if you were wondering. They offer elevators. In the basement you can do your laundry. It is another one of those communal bathroom situations. You share one with you and your roommate and then you share a bathroom with people in your hall. But a great community to live in. I would recommend it. It's in a great location because East Campus is definitely a little bit closer to more of the academic buildings than West Campus is. So if you're more concerned about saving time in the morning, being able to sleep in a few extra minutes just to walk and sprint to class, Douthit Hub is where the dining facility is. It's not really a dining hall. You eat there. It's a very unique situation. It's like rotation stations where they have certain places set up where you can go and swipe your meal swipe and all that stuff. Douthit is the newest residential community on Clemson's campus so it is the most expensive. It definitely is a further walk than any of the other residence halls but I've heard it takes people most times only 15 minutes top is usually not that bad. You have the traditional you and your roommate share a room but then you have the wet core where you have the common sink area but then semi-private bathroom shower situation so if that's once again something you want to look at or you want to live in more of a newer community definitely check out Douthit because that is where you probably want to stay. Douthit Hub however has very awkward dining hours which I know that whole framework of how dining works is probably going to be changing so keep that in mind. Everything I'm sharing today is based off of how things were prior to the pandemic. So yeah that was my overview of just some of the dorms on Clemson's campus. Kind of all depends on your preference, what's available when you're applying to housing. If you have any other questions about a dorm in particular or even about the shoe boxes, leave them down below or DM me either on Instagram or Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye guys!